Hi, it's Nancy, your over 40 princess, coming you to the crappy quality of a YouTube video that has been recorded on YouTube. Why? Because my computer, since I had that virus, has acted up, and now my simple video capture program is no longer syncing voice with facial movement. So this is going in unfortunately I'm going to need to replace it before I send it in because I am taking no chances on losing the information this will go to my son who does really desperately need it for school he's not here to hear that that's good um, and I'm gonna get something comparable with a slightly better built-in video camera I am frustrated beyond belief today about that because I made this amazing Bridget Bardot hair Tuesday thing that I loved, 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 loved. And now I'm sitting here with it all taken down in my nightgown and no makeup eyes. Alright, so I'm going to talk about something else. What am I going to talk about? Lots of questions out there about what do you take to get nice X, Y, and Z. So I'm going to tell you what I'm going to take, what I take on a daily basis and why. And you can keep what you love and dump the rest. That's what this is all about. Keeping what you love and dumping the rest. Before you start any vitamin regime, go to your doctor. I take vitamins specifically. I do not take a multivitamin because I am looking for things that I'm missing in my diet because ideally it comes from your diet but I'm not getting the fiber and I'm not getting enough greens and I need more greens that's a I love them I just have a family that detests them and sometimes I get tired of fighting like a salmon upstream so let's start out with the things that aren't going to be presented for you tonight now I'm going to be make a disclaimer right now a lot all of my medications come from GNC why I can get much of what I need from drugstore.com and that means no shipping and no tax and no levy de housey which is nice because with the kids it's really hard to go someplace and you don't want to take a child with Asperger's anywhere did I ever tell you about the time my son with Asperger's asked some nice old lady if she had a penis or vagina? Can I say those words on YouTube? It's not one of my stellar moments as a parent. I almost killed him. I was so horrified. She laughed. Two, when I go in the store, their salesman don't pressure me. The problem with going in the store is that my husband has a deadly soy allergy. And if I get soy protein on me, it can kill him. But I have to watch everything that he gets because soy is in everything. You can't get away from it. And it's proven to be problematic at best. And now Hearn seems to be developing a soy allergy too. Groovy. So let's start out with the things that I take that you're not going to see here tonight. The first one is I take magnesium and potassium and I take them separately. Even eating bananas, I need potassium. Why? I'm an athlete. I know that's going to sound strange because I'm not trying out to be in the Olympics or anything like that, but I race. And I race addictively in the summer. I love races. I am not out there to win it, although winning my age division would be a nice idea and I'm working towards that. I also bike. I also do triathlons. That makes me an athlete. When I'm on the bike for two hours a day, that makes me an athlete. Of course, I don't do that every day. And I'm not doing it for a runner's high or an endorphin high because, quite frankly, I'm not sure what that is. I'm just so beat by the time I get home that it's sit down and stare into space until the coffee hits. shouldn't drink the coffee, but I need the coffee. I also take a sublingual B12. It's the only way to take a B12 unless you're getting it as a shot. B12 is not a miracle drug. It will give you some more energy 
taking it in pill form will not help you at all because of the way your body absorbs it. If you don't understand this, talk to your doctor. And when you go into your doctor and talk about any medical thing, you not only have a card that lists all of your, you know, prescription prescriptions, but everything you're taking OTC, including um, acetaminophen. That's just common sense. But common sense isn't very common. The first thing I'm going to show you is my GNC dietary supplement with calcium. I don't eat cheese. I don't drink a lot of milk. Calcium is important. This is the best way for me to get calcium because I actually will take it. It's delicious. There's only 20 calories in a chew. You need two chews for 100% of your daily needs. The also make one in orange, which is wonderful because I'm allergic to oranges, and this does not use or rose or not oranges. I mean rose hips, roses. Blah. Um, and I'm it doesn't have rose hips in it. I used to love rose hip tea. I can't have it anymore. Next thing is folic acid. I am low in folate. I know this for two reasons. I do not eat a diet high in folate. The other thing is that um, any woman of childbearing age, even if you're going into menopause, should be taking folate. Absolutely. It's just huge in the benefits towards your unborn child. And even if you can't think you can get pregnant, more pregnancies happen unwanted for women in their 40s than any other group except girls in their teens. We think it's over and it's not. Folate is really, really important. It also, um, my tongue is very sensitive. I used to be able to drink hot sauce. I can't anymore. Folic acid is one of the reasons why. I get zinc, bio zinc, because it's just zinc. And around here, foods grown around here, and I do buy local, do tend to be a little lower in zinc than they need to be. I take flaxseed oil because I hate fish oil. I don't like fish. If one of those suckers breaks, I hate it. Because I'm on medications, steroids, for my MS right now and I think I'm over the hump with it I'm thinking that it's taking me less time to get out of bed in the morning I'm still tired a lot but it's not like it was six months ago oh I take iron I take iron because I need iron rich blood I have very low iron and I'm an, I do the athletic stuff and I do the athletic stuff the lifting weights the crunches all the other stuff to support my race habit it's because I love to race it's it's not because I want to be thin in fact I have my limit and if I get below it I change things up sometimes things don't go the way you plan <laughs> I use the super cleanse by nature's secret to get my body um, fiber and it's not an overnight fix but it does work better than laxatives which you can get totally addicted to and you know what laxatives really won't help you diet the last thing is my natrol skin hair and nails my nails are still peeling at the end but i'm hoping after i'm done with this bottle which is my first that things will be different i have noticed that i'm losing less hair one of the things about people that have had a gastric bypass is protein. We don't get enough protein by any stretch of the imagination. Um, this doesn't have protein in it, but has other things. And then if I work on my protein with like a Kellogg's yogurt bar, which is almost all protein and still doesn't taste like chalk, which a lot of protein bars do, and they're full of soy. Or I have a shake with designer whey, which is mostly whey with a little bit of soy. Um, I'm doing okay, but it's really important to take something to make you feel beautiful. Um, my skin's a little glowier now than it's been. It's still not done this by itself. I know that it's not. So, this is your over 40 princess saying, look at what you eat. 
play with your vitamins and get a nutritionist to help if you can't and if you have a nutritionist 